Hey, how you doing? This is Kevin B, better known as Skeeter. I'm your host of Let's Talk About Adoption Foster Care Podcast. This is episode 25, the last episode. Being thankful. We want to uh, thank everyone who supported us throughout the 24 episodes. We just want to um, thank you for listening on all our venues that we took part of. Uh, we want to thank you for listening in on podcast, Podbean, uh, Apple Podcasts, uh, YouTube, Twitter, um, Facebook, and Instagram. We just want to thank you. Um, we will also want to let you know that this is not the last time that we will use this channel. Uh, we'll definitely uh, use the channel when topics come up and um, people want to um, share their story on the podcast, we'll still have this channel. So if you have a story to tell and you want to be on the podcast, go ahead and hit me up and uh, send me an email at uh, livingmyshadows at gmail.com. And um, we can set something up and, and you know, hey, we dust the channel off and we put you on. Um, <clears throat> we're trying to um, get a little bit more familiar with uh, Clubhouse. We uh, uh, moderated our first um, room uh, last uh, last week, I believe it was. Yeah, last week. And we talked about um, if you had connected with your biological parents, what would you ask them? Or if you have it, connected with on what would you ask and it was very interesting um uh, we had some uh interesting um responses on that so this um listen you know uh continue to follow me on instagram i'll let you know when when we are, um opened up another room too bad you have to have an iphone though and that's full of be going to um android soon but um yeah so we'll continue to work uh, in clubhouse and we'll continue to uh, throw our little positive um postings on instagram and um uh, Facebook and Twitter. We'll continue to do them things, but we're trying to move on and um, trying to be, um, you know, um, active when it comes to um, awareness of um, the adoption topic and what adoptees have been through and what are they going through and just to uh, educate individuals that you know, if they're thinking about being adoptive parents or whatever, um, we want you to be aware of some of the things that adoptees go through and we want you to be authentic with the individuals that are being adopted. And, you know, um, we want to um, also um, give thanks to, um, you know, all those that um, have inboxed me and encouraged me. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's been real. Everybody has been really supportive. and. We just, uh, we just want to thank you. Um, we want y'all to continue to look at the, uh, the website, www.livingmyshadows.org. Um, uh, we support local uh, businesses or anybody business. It's the same thing with local authors or any authors that, that want to be on the website. Go ahead and, and um, send me an email and uh, we'll, we'll get you up there. Uh, <clears throat> we're just happy to uh, be alive. Uh, we want to continue on with our uh, pushing our two books, uh, uh, Living My Shadows, Dreams Do Come True, which is the first book I wrote. And basically it talks about my journey from birth all the way up until finding my biological family. And then we wrote a second book, which was called uh, Shadows of Emotions, Life After the Dream. It talks about all the emotions that one has to deal with once um, they uh, find their biological family. Well, so much of my experiences, once I find my biological family and how I was able to um, act or, or still juggle in different emotions and three families, you know, both the biological side of the family and adoption side of the family, you know, and then um, how, um, you know, uh, I was able to negotiate and continue to negotiate that. Uh, we'll be making a third book where it does not have anything to do with adoptions, basically called Battle Buddies. And we hope to have that book out by um, Veterans Day, hopefully, or before. That book basically talks about real life events, just, you know, off duty type stuff that um, <clears throat> I know of. <laughs> uh, it's based off of uh, real life events on um, using uh, fictional characters. So the names are not mentioned to protect the innocent. So yeah, so hopefully that book, that's gonna be a fun book. We're um, doing that right now. Um, <clears throat> we just want to let you know that adoptees have issues um, and, um, when I say issues, we have situations that, um, you know, that 
you know, one should pay attention to. Um, there's been a lot of tra trauma in, in being an adoptee. Um, all adopt adoption is not bad. And just like all adoptions are not good. Um, so that's why we try to bring awareness. Um, the most important thing, if anybody's thinking about adopting, please be authentic and real and honest to that adoptee. Medical records, if you can get them. Birth of uh, origin, you know, or uh, identity, you know, um, where they come from, uh, connected to their language, if they speak a different language or from a different country, all these different things need to be expressed to them. Because I'm telling you, nine out of 10 times when they get older, they're going to find out whether they go take a DNA test or somebody tell them they're going to find out. The so best thing is to be upfront. It does not take away from the adoption. It does not take away from you loving them or anything. But when you have that honest uh, foundation in the beginning, it helps and it goes a mighty long way. Um, I'm blessed that I'm able to uh, connect with my biological family. Um, it's been a it's been a it's been a roller coaster ride, you know, um, in my journey from the time I was born, 1960, up until 2016, when I found my biological family, a whole new world opened up to me. Finding out that, you know, um, from Anguilla, my grandfather was born in Anguilla and raised in Anguilla and came up to St. Kitts and up to New York and found his, his wife and had two kids. And one of them was my mother. And then come to find out that I had three siblings and, you know, on that side, then find out that my, my father on the, on the other side, um, his mother was from England, lived in Jamaica for a while and came on up and they hooked up. I mean, and then my father came along and along with siblings and, and, and um, um, one of his siblings is still alive, 104 years old or older. She, she turned 104 in January and um, she's still moving and still, you know, um, have a right mind and able to, um, you know, be here and I'm able to see her and, and I was able to touch her. I mean, all these good things and cousins. And I have uh, two sisters on my father's side. And, you know, then I have my adopted family, you know, my, my brothers and my sister, you know, um, it's just, it's, it's been real. And also it's been tragedy, tragedies too. You know, I, I had a nephew that, that was killed. I, I had a cousin that, that passed away once I, you know, just after I met her, um, I had um, both, my, both mothers passed away in 2019. Um, you know, so uh, it's, 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 it's been up and down. I didn't had barbecues and invited all three sides of the, my life in the barbecues. Uh, I've been to reunions and, and things that I saw and things are still going. Hopefully I get to go to Anguilla in the West Indies and meet more family members. Um, I'll be able to uh, eat my first cultural meal, meal that my cousin kind of, you know, gave me the recipe. I mean, it's just, just all kinds of good things. So um, we're going to continue my journey and we want to continue to share our journey with everybody. We also want to share everybody else's story. So if you have a story that you want to talk about, hit me up. Or if you, uh, you know, if you just want to share um, a, a thought, hit me up. We'll put you on the podcast or we'll start a room in Clubhouse and we will get busy. Uh, so, um, like I said, the channel's still going to be up. If you want to talk, we can make special arrangements and we can, you know, uh, get the channel going again. The, the uh, 25 episodes will always be there. Um, local businesses, if you're author or anything, hit me know. I'll put you on my website. Uh, we're just looking to do great things in 2021 and 2022. Hopefully, uh, we can get to the, uh, the book signings and things again. So, with all that being said, we're thankful, we're happy, we ask you to be safe, continue to be strong adoptees and foster care individuals, and just remember, you can do anything, be anything, and accomplish anything, all you have to do is put your mind to it. So with that being said, be good, be safe. We'll be seeing you. Peace.